What's up YouTube and again thanks for dropping by Mac Talkies Corner. And in this video, I know I'm late for the topic, but I wanted to discuss Luffy's position as the fifth emperor. Pirate Emperor that is. So in chapter 903, right? I think either page 16 or 17, Blackbeard says, an emperor is still too soon for you, Straw Hat. Blackbeard, shut up with your snag or tooth ass, man. Listen up. Luffy deserves to be an emperor even more than you do. Okay, I will admit that he's not powerful enough to defeat Kaido. I don't think Luffy's ready to fight Kaido yet. He certainly wasn't ready for Big Mom. But Luffy's accomplishments speak for themselves. And as you all know, our boy Luffy hails from the East Blue, the weakest of the four seas. Luffy pretty much conquered the East Blue, and is a fresh rookie at that. No pirate experience whatsoever. Probably in a few months. He sent Alvita flying. He sent Buggy flying. Defeated Kuro. Um, the most powerful two would be Don Krieg and Arlong. Definitely. The biggest pirates in the East Blue. All defeated. Because either you messed with his friends, or you got in his way. They got their asses whipped. And after that, Luffy received the highest bounty in the East Blue in a short amount of time at that. 30 million berries. And that more than tripled whenever he defeated Crocodile. And the fact that he was a, one of the seven pirate warlords. I think they were called in English, dog. Shichi Bukai. Man, he tore him a new asshole. Then later on, after the events of Skypea, he broke into Eni's lobby with his crew. Let me repeat that. The Straw Hat Pirates broke into Eni's lobby. That's like breaking into the United States Pentagon. The Straw Hats defeated CP9. So you're gonna waltz into the Pentagon and defeat nine super CIA agents. The other pirates, hearing this event happen, they're like, what is this kid, crazy? Who would be stupid enough to barge into Eni's lobby? Oh, and don't get me started on the whole impel down situation. Add that to the list of crazy feats. My point is, guys, YouTube, Luffy has done some amazing things. And now, with recent events, he survived going into Big Mom's territory. He defeated the strongest man in Thailand, Katakuri. And yeah, Katakuri was the strongest of the three sweet commanders. So as it stands now, when the Straw Hats return to Whole Cake Island, Big Mom is the only one who can defeat Luffy. So yeah, I've rambled on enough about this topic. What do you guys think? Is Luffy deserving of the title of 5th Emperor? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Until next time, peace out.